My name is Isaac from the Innovation Consortium. And today, <coughs> I'd like to share with you about floods, what they are, and how, where we use them, and how to use them. A basic definition of a flood, uh, it's just a rectangular bar. Uh, it might be of steel, stainless steel, or alloy steel, or copper, but it's, it's rectangular. It's a bar which is rectangular, actually. Uh, by rectangle, I mean in the cross section, the thickness, the width, and the length. So is rectangular. That makes it a flat. So, so basically, a flat is just a rectangular bar we use in fabrication or any other metal works. <coughs> So to talk about floods and how we specify floods, uh, specification also comes with the dimensions. The dimensions, I mean the, the width, the thickness, the overall length, and the material maybe. So first of all, the thickness, uh, if we have to measure the thickness, the thickness of the, the cross section, it will be the smaller face measure for instance this one is 3.5 millimeters then we go for the width the width which is 30.5 millimeters then we go for the overall length which is 5.8 as we had said earlier on 5.8 or six meters that's the standard overall length of flats now uh, then the other is the material the material of these flats or the bars they come in four common types the, the basic common types we use which is copper we have the copper flat bars we have the stainless steel we have the alloy steel and the structure steel <clears throat> so those are the four basic types of materials if we are to specify. So to clarify on this, uh, for a flash, the dimensions, the dimensions or the specification, uh, we have the width, <clears throat> which we had seen earlier on, we have the thickness plus the overall length which is 5.8 or 6 meters uh, then the other the other is the material material specification <coughs> which first of all we have copper the copper flats uh, we have mild steel mild steel flats uh, we have aluminium, aluminium flats, and we have the stainless steel, stainless steel. <coughs> uh, and how we differentiate these four, uh, physically, it's by their color, uh, the copper, it's red, reddish in color then mild steel is normally gray it's normally gray in color aluminium <coughs> it's white in color then stainless steel uh, this one is silver silver in color silverish in color so <coughs> That is the how physically you specify or you differentiate the four common material types or the material types of the flat bars commonly used in our fabrication works. So basically that's it for the flat bars. I remain Isaac from the Innovation Consortium. Thank you very much. Stay tuned in for our next episodes of how to